how to quickly generate API documentation for your Laravel API. For example, if you work with frontender, with mobile app developer, or with anyone who wants to use the API, how do you provide the documentation? And there is a Laravel package that helps you to do that very quickly, and I will demo it for you now. I have a small project created by my teammate Marius, really simple eShop catalog homepage, and I will shoot a separate video on this one, how it works with Vue.js. But for now, let's create a documentation for its API. So there are only two endpoints, two pages, list of products and list of categories. And if you can see in the network tab of the browser, there is a category API with this result and there's a products API with this result. And in Laravel code, we have two controllers for API product controller and category controller. And there are dog block blocks that will help us to generate the documentation. But the controllers are really simple, just index function for all the categories and maybe some more logic in products because they have pagination. So on the example of that simple project, I will show you the basics how to generate documentation. For a bigger project, of course, it's more complicated, but you would know the principles. For that, we would use a package by Marcel Posiot called Laravel API Doc Generator. It's really old, like four years ago, some files and two and a half thousand stars, so very good for simple documentations. So here's how it works. After you install and configure that, you just run command artisan api doc generate like this, and it generates public docs index HTML file that you can view with the browser. So slash docs becomes your official API. Now, how does that package know what to generate here? What is the syntax? There is a specific syntax. So in every method or for every controller, Let's start with the categories. You need to provide some information. So first, before the class, you can assign a group. So add group becomes this thing, this menu item on the left. Parent menu item is a group front page. Then this API is for front page is a group title here, group description. And then for every method, you can describe every method and it becomes sub menu item here. So let's start with the categories. Fetch all categories and fetch categories are here. So in doc block, first line is the title, second line is a description, subtitle. Then you can provide a lot more things like authentication, query parameters and all of that. But probably what is most useful to the front-ender or to mobile application developer is the response, the example of what they can expect. And this is exactly how it looks formatted response. So add response and you just give any example response. And from here, frontender would definitely understand that this is the URL, this is the content type and the parameters, and this is what they can get. This can be dummy data, some faker data, some whatever, but at least it shows the structure. That is the most important thing. And for product list, it's a little more complicated because it has pagination. So we have query parameters here. So if you go to the page and click the category, there are URL parameters, category one and page one. And these are exactly here for every at query param name of the parameter, then space description, and then example value. And this becomes this table. So when you specify query param list, you have this table and example five and example two goes to here to example request. So also then frontender is familiar with what parameters to pass and what are potential values. And then response is pretty same thing, just in this case, response is more complicated with pagination, with next page, previous page, and all of that. So in our case, when we're working with API project and want to provide that to the frontender, we make the changes in the API, then regenerate the documentation, push that to the repository, and then that HTML page gets updated. Final thing, I want to show you how to generate that response probably doesn't come manually. So to get that response, you can actually run that API call in the browser. So let's go here. We have actually run that products or actually categories. So categories, and this is the result in the browser in Chrome, it's network. Then you choose the network call and then go response, copy that. Of course, it's not formatted. It's one line, but then there is online tool like jsonformatter.org. I like this one. So I just paste here and then click format beautify. And that's it. It gives me the full structure. 
more readable and I just copy and paste whatever I want, whether it's full structure or in my case, I would copy and paste. So response should be data and then this result, comma is not needed. Of course, it's not formatted, but I click command alt L in PHP Storm. It means code reformat or it would be menu item code, reformat code. And that code doesn't need to be spaced or tabbed correctly here in the documentation. That is perfectly fine. And then we run API doc generate and let's refresh our documentation. This and let's go to categories. And there we go. It's formatted automatically. So this is the updated documentation for that API call. So these are the basics how to generate simple API documentation. For more complex documentation, maybe, maybe it's worth checking out Open API Standard or former called Swagger. It's a more standard approach across the API world, not only Laravel. And we have a separate article on that on Quick Admin Panel Blog with a demo about Open API Swagger and documentation looks a little bit different. But in here, it's much more work to generate the API. Many more parameters and stuff to write like this. So I would suggest Open API for more complex projects, but for simple APIs, Marcel's package Laravel API doc generator is a perfect tool. That's it about API docs for this time and see you guys in another video.